Hey angels, hey angels. Happy Wednesday. Um, so it's about 7 a.m. and I'm up. And um, I just did my little praise and worship, said my little prayer. And I'm pretty much just chilling right now. I'm ready for today though. Um, so mini update. I haven't really been having the feeling to film, edit, any of it. I've just been in this isolation mood kind of like in my own world type of thing so that's been going on and um i still been having dreams like all day every day i'm always dreaming so um i'll definitely be coming to you guys soon with some of my dreams and definitely some of the messages that i've been receiving so one of my senior pastors actually purchased this book for me it's called how to see in the spirit and um i've been checking it out um, it's really good and it just really helps to like open your spiritual eye and, um, really help you to be able to engage with the spiritual realm. So, um, hopefully that's something that I can grow with over time. Um, as far as the kids is concerned, um, I finally, uh, went through the process to get them transferred and everything. So they are tr finally transferred out of Jersey schools. Now I just have to transfer them into the schools in my new state. And um, outside of that, I think I just need to change my driver's license. And I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I can finally put Jersey behind me. Like, I don't know, but I'm so excited to be somewhere new. I'm so excited to be doing new things with new people and just really in a good space. I redid my hair last night, as you guys can see. It's growing again, you know what I'm saying? Your girl ain't no stressed, bald head, scared away. You feel me? So, I'm happy about that. My skin looks really good. I've been doing a new skincare um, regimen. And I'm um, taking my vitamins. And um, I'm back in the gym now. So, that's the... So everything is kind of coming together slowly, but surely. So I'm actually really excited about that. Today for me is really just going to be about catching up on some YouTube work. And um, oh, shout out to everybody shopping the wholesale vendors list. I'm going to tell y'all again to go over and check out the vendors list. We have multiple over there. We have hair. We have lashes. We have sunglasses. We have drop shipping um, vendors. We have everything there. So if you're looking to start your business, it's not just sunglasses anymore, guys. Go over and check out the site. Shop the site, okay? Um, it's definitely worth your money. And I definitely made sure I um, kept it affordable for you guys. Um, other than that, um, I pretty much just want to relax today. Because I keep feeling like I keep saying I'm going to relax today. I'm going to relax today. And every day... I jump up and it's just so much to do and I'm always ripping and running all day and then I come home and I'm super tired. No, I really want to take the time to relax today. And um, since the kids are not in school in um, Jersey anymore, they actually have the day off, which is why it's really quiet because they are sleeping in this morning. They are actually quiet. So since they are quiet and getting a little peace, mommy got to get a little peace. You feel me? So, um, yeah, that's just pretty much what's going on right now. Somebody's hope. I hear him walking around. Who could it be? If they are woke, they're going to come in here. Good morning, Tristan. Good morning, mommy. <laughs> I told y'all, I said, somebody's woke, and they're going to come in here. This is what they do every morning. Good morning, mommy. I'm tired. Yeah. So why are you up watching TV? I don't know, because Chase was on the switch. Go ahead, baby. I told y'all, this is this, this is what they do every morning, and they're going to come in here one at a time and tell me good morning as they slowly get up. I have to muster up the shrimp to get up. I'll just be it. Actually, it's supposed to snow this weekend. It's supposed to snow from like Thursday to Sunday, I heard. 
So I really need to go back to the market and just out to the store and make sure we got everything we need. Right now we got, actually right now, and if I didn't go to the store, we would be perfectly fine. But I'm extra. And one thing I know for sure is I'm not going out there once it starts snowing. So right now I'm about to get my life together. I need to like do my makeup and force myself to get something done. Seriously. Pray for me, y'all. Hey y'all, what's up? So I'm tired as hell. I don't know what it is today. I'm just so tired. Like all I want to do is sleep, y'all. But you know what? I can't. This storm is coming. And your girl got to get to the store. So right now, I'm about to head out. I got to hit the market. I got to make sure the kids got, you know what I mean, some extra snacks and stuff that they like. I don't know why my room's so chilly. It's kind of chilly in here. But, um, I'm about to run out. Take care of my responsibilities or whatever. But, um. Yeah, y'all, let's get it. Hey, y'all. So, I'm in the car now. Woo! I got my hoodie on. This is my thick hoodie, too. Shout out to Dolphin Lucy. They sent me this hoodie, y'all. Dolphin Lucy. But, um... Woo! Thank God for my car. Like, thank God for the car. I'm just so grateful for everything right now. You feel me? But, um, I'm waiting for this car to warm up. So I can hit this rule and get my responsibilities taken care of. I seen a post online that was saying Aries was moody. And I'm an Aries. I didn't feel like I was moody, but I actually am moody. Like, I'm moody as fuck sometimes. Like, and this is one of my moody days. You feel me? So I just got on my hoodie. I got on my black jeans. And I got on my boots. You feel me? My boots. My jeans. Chilling. Anyway, y'all. Jesus help me. I can't be this way because I got so much. I got so much to be grateful for, and really and truly, I don't know what the problem is because ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm just in my bag. You know what it is? I didn't feel like coming out the house. I was dozing off. I'm tired, and it's like, all right. I still got to do what I got to do. You know what I mean? And today is one of them days I don't feel like being uh, an adult. You know what I mean? I don't feel like doing what I need to do. You feel me? So, instead of not doing it, I just get mad while doing it. Like, I'm just irritated. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. I know y'all understand what I'm saying. So, um, that's all it is, guys. That's all it is. But I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the love and support. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I appreciate you guys liking, commenting, subscribing, leaving me messages. I appreciate you guys so much. You know what I'm saying? I definitely do. And y'all definitely got to tell me what y'all want to see. If y'all want to see something else, you know what I mean, outside of the vlogs. You know what I'm saying? I know I got some more videos coming for you guys. So, uh, what was that? So, uh, stay tuned or whatever. Definitely. But, um, this ain't gonna be no vlog, long vlog. I can already tell because of the mood I'm in. And, um, I don't want to project those emotions on you guys. So, let's get to this market. Let's get it. Hey, angels. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. Um, as you guys can see, I'm in a better mood like so I'm gonna just combine these two vlogs this vlog with the last vlog because the last vlog I was just like not feeling it at all so um today I'm in a great mood um actually I'm about to be on my way to go meet up with um Tristan's dad right now you know it's Valentine's Day weekend you know so everybody got their little plans and everything like that you know so this is what's going on right now. I did want to, like, go to the store and get the kids, like, some Valentine's Day candy and stuff like that. I always get them something for Valentine's, whether they with me or with their dad. So, I kind of want to do that today. And, um, I got a few other things that I need to do. But you guys are going to be with me, which is exciting. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and come over and join the family. If you are already one of my angels, you guys know I love you so much. 
So, let's get it. Let's get it. Shut up. Hey, this is why I don't like you, What's his name? Tristan. Yes. What are you doing? That's what I gotta do with. I can't find it. I lost it. So put it on. I lost Tristan, it. what the heck you got in that bag? Come on, hurry up. Angels, so I'm in the car right now, and I'm actually on my way into five and below. I gotta give me a new charger for some reason. My phone charger is acting crazy, so I'm gonna give me a new phone charger and a new car charger. I done did a thousand and one things already and haven't showed y'all anything just because I'm just on go today. Like, I got to get it done. And, you know what I'm saying? I just want to get in and um, just chill the rest of the day. So, um, yeah, let's go. Here we are. Here we are. Five and freaking below. Everything $5. Why not? Hello? Hello? All right, so here we are, guys. I'm looking for all the charges. I need Type C, but that's a charging stand. C, Type C, Type C, Type C. So this is basically what I need. They got a pink one. This one is six feet. Maybe I should go for 10, 10 feet. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Go for the 10 feet cable. Let me see, do they got the 10 in um, pink? I go to 10 right here in paint. Maybe I should get this one. Is this shit locked? What kind of fucking business they running here? All right, y'all, we out. Hey, guys. So I'm back. And um, I'm home now. And um, I'm pretty just... Y'all see how my bed is all messed up? I'm pretty much just laying around, lounging, and just taking some much-needed um quiet time or whatever and um i just wanted to come talk to you guys <laughs> you know what i'm saying get a little chatty but um really i just wanted to say how important it is to really like just take that quality time for yourself and just actually just sit back and chill and like actually breathe in breathe out meditate pray um, just stay close to God and really just like take in everything that's going on in life. And, um, I just feel like pretty much the last two days I needed a little take a break moment for Alicia. And, um, I think I'm pretty much going chill for the next two days moving forward anyway. But, um, really like I just been going through so much in my head like, my brain has been in overdrive. I've been thinking, 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 like, thinking myself crazy. I've been dreaming, like, nonstop. I'm dreaming all day, every day. I'm waking up and I'm tired. I feel like I'm not getting any sleep. Like, God has just been downloading a bunch of information to me. And I haven't really been bringing it to you guys because I've been just trying to, like, accept everything and process everything and really just receive it and just really be in that space and in that moment and I just feel like I was going through like kind of this rebellious period where I just didn't want to do any of it I didn't want to listen to anything God was saying for a second and, <laughs> and and you know I know God is sick of me because honestly I'm a lot of work and um <laughs> and um He's working on me one day at a time. Like, I never strive to be perfect. I always try my best to just be better and, like, definitely better than yesterday and the day before and so on and so forth. So, like, I mean, people can watch me and they can judge me and they can say whatever they want. But honestly, I am who I am. Like, no person on this planet Earth is perfect. So, like... Don't ever try to be perfect, guys. Just try to love yourself along the way. Like, I know when I first started my spiritual walk, um, it took me a while to actually get into it and everything like that. 
And it was because I always felt like I had to have it together. Like, okay, I have to have this figured out. You know, I got to stop drinking. I got to stop smoking. I got to stop doing this and doing that. You know, I can't be having sex out of wedlock. Like, anything it is that you could think of that, you know, Christians say or whatever, I felt that way about myself. And I was just like, mm, this is going to, like, keep me from God forever because I'm never going to get there, like, wanting to be perfect coming to him because you'll never be perfect. So, um... God spoke to me on that and I got to this place where I heard God clearly say like, no, I said, come as you are like, you know what I'm saying? And I will work with you and I will work through you and we will work through these things together until I mold you and shape you into the person that I see for you to be, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, so along this journey, I'm just like, okay, God, let's go ahead. Let's do this thing. You know what I'm saying? And we've been doing this thing, you know what I'm saying? So this is like a mini check-in, I guess. I don't know. I'm just ranting. Just listen, okay? So, anyway, guys, I've just been in this space where I've been feeling, like, so emotional. I've been feeling so drained. I've been feeling so many different things. And I've been so sensitive. Like, I'm naturally a sensitive person, but I've been, like, uber-duber, extra, whoop, 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 sensitive. Like, I've been, and it's just, like, my spirit is kind of, like, I keep saying sensitive, but it's almost agitated in, this, in a way because it's like if somebody come up on me, I'm like, like, I'm just like so spiritually bothered, you know what I'm saying? And um, I know it's just been a lot going on spiritually and God has been downloading so much information to me so fast that um, it has really been unreal. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to sharing it with you guys. But um, right now, I need to, you know, take it easy. Take it easy on myself, you know what I'm saying? Um, I spend a lot of time with the kids and taking care of them and homeschooling and just making sure everything is okay within the house. You know, being a single parent of four kids is a lot of work and then trying to find time for myself in the gym, and eating right and rekindling with my family. And then we have YouTube and, you know, trying to be consistent with you guys. And then on top of that, it's not 19 frames and building a business. And then all the other business ventures I have right here, um, sitting here ready to go and waiting for me to just put the gas to the pedal. You know what I'm saying? So I really do have a lot on my plate. So sometimes I just have to take a step back and just really be patient with myself, you know, on top of taking care of your skin and taking care of your teeth and then taking care of your hair. Like, it's really not enough time in the day. It is genuinely not. So this is just one of those moments I'm just reminding myself that it's okay to have a quiet day. It's okay not to talk to anybody and everything like that. And um, I'm, the per I'm the type of person that I naturally isolate like, when I'm going through things, if it's emotionally, whether it's spiritually, whatever it may be, I isolate from the world. Like, I don't want to pick up the camera. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to be on the phone. I don't want to be around anybody unless it's like, you know, I got a significant other and I'm cuddled up under him and I just don't want to talk. I just want to lay here and be up under you and be a baby. And that's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? So I've learned to accept myself the way I am, you know, but um, I'm really excited about all the things that God has been doing in my life and um, the ways that he's been moving for me and for the kids, all of the doors he's been opening up, all of the divine connections. Like I have this really super dope YouTube sister and she's like my sister's sister now. And, and we talk all the time and she's going through a spiritual transformation herself and we encourage each other and we just love each other. And we are total strangers. Like we haven't even physically met yet. But that's my sister right there. You know what I'm saying? That's my baby. And um, I'm looking forward to meeting her. But this is what I mean about divine connections. Because it's like she come to my channel and she's like, oh, my God, I'm right where you are. Like, I understand exactly what you're saying. I know you're not crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it's just exactly what I needed to hear at that point in time. You know what I mean? And we just built a genuine bond. And it's like it's just unbreakable. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm so grateful for that. And I know I'm in this season now where I'm healing from everything that it is that I've ever been through. I'm going through the motions of actually like receiving, you know what I mean, everything it is that God is sending my way, you know. And during this healing process, I feel like I've been, you know, having a lot of flashbacks. Like I'm having like 
total flashback moments. Like, and I'm just seeing things that I feel like maybe I blocked out of my mind for the longest time. And I always said, like, you know, I got a bad memory. I can't remember this and I can't remember that. But honestly, it's in my head. You know what I'm saying? I think I just block certain things out so I don't have to address it or remember it. But now I'm actually starting to get flashbacks and I'm starting to see things. And I'm starting to feel certain kinds of ways about certain things I've been through and certain things I allowed to happen and everything. So I've been really going through a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You know, and um, above all, I just try my best to accept my reality and just um, take it one day at a time. I always lean on God and pray, you know, and ask him for the strength and the healing and, you know, get me through. And you know what I'm saying? So I honestly said this was a personal year, but it's really, really turning out to be an extra personal year for me. And um I know I'm going through this transition period and um, I'm coming out on the other side and I'm excited about that. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like everything that I've ever went through is behind me. Like, no, it's not behind me. Like, it's behind me, but it's not behind me yet. Because you know what I'm saying? In order for you to actually get over things, you have to like go through it to get through it. Mental note. Um, so right now I'm kind of like going through a lot of things and getting through a lot of things and trying my best to stay the course. So that was a long rant for right now. I'll say that as for another video. I love you guys so much. I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm actually about to light my candles. I'm about to take a hot, nice shower, relax and unwind as my shower curtain says. Um, a nice hot bath actually. I'm going to take a bath, some bubbles, like actually pamper myself tonight and just actually relax so that's what tonight is about all i ask is for you guys to keep loving me keep supporting me i'll always pray for me i could never get enough prayers and um oh one last thing before i go with the music um a lot of you guys know that i like to write i like to rap and stuff like that and um everybody's always saying alicia the music the music the music we want more music and stuff like that and i love music and music is my first love and um, I feel like I've been battling with that for a while, like, with God, like, you know, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. But then at the same time, I know that my music is not pleasing to God, like the music that I choose to put out. You know what I'm saying? Because I curse a lot. It's um, raunchy. It's promiscuous. It's, it's, it's dangerous music, if you know what I'm saying. And, and you guys heard some of it, so you know. And if you follow me on social media, then you definitely know. So, um, I know God says that we should do things that's pleasing to him and that's use our gifts for his kingdom. So I don't know if I'm going to actually get into some gospel rap or some gospel music or what. I kind of feel like I'm just being a brat about it and I'm kind of like, if I can't do what I want to do, then I don't want to do it. So, um, that's kind of like where I stand on that. Um, but I feel so guilty inside now when i'm doing what alicia wants to do when i know that god wants me to do something else i feel so guilty inside i will post and delete in a minute like god has been working on me and dealing with me and making me feel like this conviction like you know you're wrong sis like bro what is you doing like you know what i'm saying so y'all just pray for me okay i love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Mm -hmm.